Hello sa mga engineering students natin dyan. Welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Now, today, uh, we will try to answer quiz number 3. Okay, so, I'm sorry kung medyo natagalan nyo pag-upload sa bagong video. Anyway, sa uh, quiz number 3 naman tayo, no? So, tapos na tayo sa quiz number 1. You can check out the link sa description, yung quiz number 1, at saka quiz number 2. Now, this time, yung solutions naman sa top 3 difficult problems, again, hindi talaga, no, difficult. Actually, ita lang yung top 3 problems na pinakamaraming students ang nagkamali. Okay, so, let's proceed. Yan. Now, counting background sa quiz number 3. Okay, ang quiz number 3 ng Visabilia Online Review actually uh, medyo madali. Okay, kung mapapansin nyo, tingnan nyo, marami. Okay, concentrated yung scores dito sa 100 to 75. So, marami talaga yung nakakuha ng mga malalaking scores. Tapos yun nga, maliit lang yung nakakuha ng hindi. In fact, tingnan nyo, marami nga naka-perfect actually. So, uh, yun nga, ang subject nito is geotechnical, mechanics, at saka surveying. So, siguro no, madali lang yung mga tanong or madali lang talaga yung topic na to. Okay, so let's proceed. Yeah. Now, ayon sa item analysis, same pa din. Okay, ano yan? Uh, uh, 16, 20, same pa din ha? Uh, meron tayong uh, top 3 problems. Yun nga, kung mapapansin nyo, tingnan nyo, ang percent correct sa number 16, 62.4. Napakarami nang nakakuha. So, uh, 30, 30 plus percent lang ang hindi nakakuha actually. So, so, do not expect no, na mga mahirap ang problem. Siguro may mga concept lang or mga formulas lang na mahirap i-memorize. Anyway, number 16, 20, at saka number 17. So actually, uh, I'm planning no, to, to give a shout out sa mga students na maka-perfect or mga top 5 siguro na students sa quizzes, okay? Sa online quizzes ng Visabilia. Now, anyway, yun nga, tinignan ko ang daming naka-perfect sa quiz number 3, okay? Unlike sa previous quiz. Anyway, sa quiz 4, I think medyo mahirap yung quiz 4. Okay, so let's proceed. Uh, yun nga, mada mga madadali lang ata itong mga problems na to. Okay, let's tingnan natin. Yeah. Okay, so, ay, sorry So, ito yung unang problem Okay uh, A 50 meter tape was standardized uh, And was found to be 0 0.042 meter too long Than the standard length Okay, at an, at an observed temperature of 58 degrees Celsius And a pull of 15 kilos Now, the same type was used to measure a certain distance And was recorded to be 673, okay 0.92 meter long at an observed temperature of 68 degrees Celsius. Okay? And a pull of 15 kilos. So, same pa din. Now, coefficient of linear expansion is 0.00116 meter per degree Celsius. Okay? So, determine that of uh, the standard temperature. Okay? So, actually, itong standard temperature, I think ito yung uh, ito yung temperature kung wala bang, uh, wala bang correction. Okay? Now, since 58 degrees daw yung temperature so it was observed to be too long so meaning ang standard temperature nito is actually siguro uh, mas maliit pa sa 58 kasi nga uh, parang tumaas yung tape natin ba okay alam natin na elongation is actually yun nga uh, pag mainit okay mas mag-elongate yung object o yung tape natin tapos pag mas lesser yung temperature uh, magko-contract okay yung mga tape okay yung tape pala okay so let's proceed so meron akong ano yung formula kalimutan ko yan pala so, actually, basic lang talaga itong formula na to. Now, this formula is actually, yan, yan, yan. So, the temperature correction, okay, is equal to the constant, which is ito, yung linear expansion, coefficient of linear expansion, multiplied by the change in temperature, okay, alam natin yan, T, T2 minus T1, uh, times the length, okay. Now, it so happened na, na ang length ng tape natin dito is actually 50 meters. Okay, so, uh, I think, uh, pwede na, no? So, meron tayong temperature correction. Now, uh, ang gagamitin natin na is ito, ito. Kasi given na kasi yung correction. Meron tayo, tingnan nyo. Ang hinahanap natin is actually yung standard temperature. So, uh, either sa dalawa actually yung standard temperature. So, dapat meron tayong CT or yung, tem uh, yung temperature correction. Which is ito, 0 0.0042 uh, meters. Okay? K given then 0 0.000116. And ang L, gagamitin natin is 50. Now, itong, itong ibang mga given na to, the same tape was measured. Okay? Now, we cannot use this kasi... Uh, although meron tayong length, wala tayo, hindi natin alam kung ilan, ano yung correction dito. Okay? We do not know the correction dito sa given na 673.92. We only know dito sa 50. Kaya ito yung gagamitin natin to solve for the uh, standard temperature. Okay? So, I think direct sub lang, no? Walang problema. 0 0.0042. That must be equal to 0 0.000. Ayan, 116. Uh, multiplied by, again, uh, this is actually an increase, so siguro no, ang 
ang T2 ang gagawin natin itong 58 minus, okay, yung T1 naman is the standard. Gawin na lang natin yung T. Stand, yan yung standard temperature. And then, ang L is actually 50. Okay, in meters ba? Again, consistent ba ng units natin, no? So, you can actually solve for L directly. Okay, anyway, gamitin natin yung calculate na lang. So, that is equal to 0 0.000116 times 58 minus x. Okay, multiply by 50. Okay. So, ano yun? Okay, so, uh, we now have our standard temperature, 50.76. So, ganun lang yung answer. So, uh, C, medyo madali lang talaga, no? That is actually B, 50.76 degrees. Ano yun? Uh, 0176. Yan pala. Okay, degrees. Celsius. So, ayok, okay tayo sa number 16. Okay, now, ano yung sunod na number ulit? At check natin dito. Yan. Now, ang next na number is actually number lakihan natin na, yan ah. Number 20. Okay? Now, sa number 20, this is actually sa surveying, no? But, uh, uh, parang may combination siya ng statistics. Anyway, the standard BC daw was, I mean, the standard, the distance BC was measured three times Uh, was measured three times are recorded as follows. So, yung first trial is 1 for 1.6. Yung second naman is 1 for 1.8. And then, yung third is actually 1 for 1.7. Ang tanong is, determine daw the precision of the measurements. Hmm. Naku, ako yung sasagot dito actually. Ma yes, actually, meron tayong formula kasi you know, this is actually statics, no? So, importante na alam mo yung formula. Anyway, papakita ko na lang. Na-prepare din ako dito. Tara. Yan, no? So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin. Anyway, uh, ano ba yung uh, precision muna? Now, precision, ito yung... Oh, ay, sorry. Ito yung formula para sa precision. Uh, that is actually E sub M divided by the uh, yung bar X. Okay? Now, ano yung EM? EM is actually the probable error. Now, since meron tayong... Anong tawag doon? Meron tayong measurements dito. Ang formula sa probable error natin is ito. Yan. 0.06745 square root of yung summation ng V squared divided by N. Multiplied by n minus 1. Okay? Now, bakit may aso? Sandali lang, ha? Okay, wala na. So, this is actually our probable error. Tapos, uh, ano naman tong BART X? So, BART X is actually the mean value. Walang problema. This is just the average of this. Ito, ito, ito. So, ang tanong precision. So, we need uh, to solve first yung EM. Okay? So, ito yung EM. Tapos, yung BART X, walang problema. We can actually solve din yan. Now, atong V naman, this is actually parang, uh, anong tawag nito? This is actually, yung B is actually the measurement subtracted by the mean. Now, yun nga, medyo mahihirapan na tayo pag manual, manual pa natin sinusolve. So, uh, notice na itong term na to actually, yan, yan, yan. Ito, ito, ito. Itong term, this is actually the standard deviation. Now, maswerte tayo kasi itong standard deviation, nandyan na yan, built in na sa calcul function natin, especially sa mga uh, civil engineering students na nanonood. Meron kasi tayong standard deviation sa uh, Canon F789SGA. So, We will take advantage of that function. So, ang gagawin natin to solve for the precision, okay? So, ang EM natin is actually just 0.6745 multiplied by our standard deviation, ito, ito. Tapos, i-divide natin sa square root of n. Bali, ito, ito, itong, itong term na to, yan, yan. Yan, I'm sorry. Hindi ko ma-highlight. <laughs> okay, ito, ito at saka ito, papalitan lang natin ang standard deviation, which is, Uh, nandun man sa calculon. Then, square root of n, n is the number of terms or yung number of measurements natin. And then, bar x is the mean. Don't worry. Uh, sa calculator, meron din tayong mean. So, I think pwede na natin isolve. Okay? So, input ka lang. Ano itong input natin? Uh, mode. Tapos, punta ka sa stat. So, linear na siguro. 1. So, input mo lang yung values na yan. 1, 4, 1. Now, again, napakadali. Actually, makikita nyo naman no, kung ano yung mean. Kasi nga, napakadali ng ang mga values na given. But, if ever medyo mahirap yung mga values or mga madami ang values, now, using the calculator function would, would really be a great help, no? Para sa inyo. Okay? Ayan, 141.7. Okay? So, after nyan, so, punta lang tayo. Uh, apps, punta ka sa 5, and then, yung 3, that is actually, oh sorry. Sorry, sorry. So, ano yun? Mo, uh, apps, ano to? Number 5. Now, be careful ha. Yung standard deviation na gagamitin natin, ito, ito yung may 
n minus 1. Okay? Kasi pa group kasi sila. Okay? So, that is actually 4. So, equals ka. Store natin yan sa letter A. Okay? Store natin sa letter A. And then, meron na tayong standard deviation ng n. Walang problema. Tatlo. Napakadali. 3. Wala tayong barred x. Now, obvious naman na ang barred x is actually 1 for 1 point. Uh, ano yan? 1 for 1.7. Anyway, pag mahirap yung given, check na lang dito. Uh, function, press 5. And then, yan, barred x number 2. Okay? So, store natin to sa B. And then, uh, mode 1 ka ulit. Okay? And then, itype mo na lang to. Ito, ito. Itype mo na lang yung formula. That is actually 0. 0.6745 multiplied by standard deviation nasa A. Divide by square root of n, which is, alam natin, no? that is actually 3. Tatlo man yung uh, measurements natin. Divided by, saan yan? Okay. Divided by the mean, which is nandun sa B. Okay? So, ito na yung sagot natin. Now, unfortunately, uh, baka mahirapan kayo, no? Now, precision is actually expressed in terms of 1 divided by a whole number, okay? A whole integer. So, we just need to, i-reciprocal mo lang yan, okay? Press that. Yan. So, ito na yung denominator natin. 3, 6, 3, 8. Now, unfortunately, walang 3, 6, 3, 8. Yung nga, uh, siguro nagkaiba lang sa pag off. So, ang pinakamalapit is actually 3, 6, 3, 3. Okay? Which is, yun naman din yung sagot sa number 20. Which is letter A. So, meaning, ang sagot natin dito is actually 1 over, ano yan? 3, 6, 3, 8. Or 3, 6, 3, 9. 3, 6, uh, 3, 9. Again, ito yung sagot natin, letter A. Kasi nga, ito yung pinaka malapit. Okay, so I hope okay tayo sa number 20. Medyo madali lang talaga yung number 20. Okay? So let's proceed. Ito. Now, itong number, uy, sandali lang ha. Medyo maliit. Na itong number uh, ano to? Number 17. This is actually a continuation sa number 16. Okay? So it's what happened na sila yung mga nahihirap na problem. So Ang next problem nun actually is determine the total correction. So, meron na tayong correction nun. I mean, meron na tayong standard temperature. Okay? So, ang sunod daw is detail, de determine the total correction. So, ano ba tong total correction dito? Okay? So, check natin. Okay? So, ang total correction actually, I think ang tinatanong dito sa total correction is para dito, dito. The same tape was used out to measure a certain distance and it was recorded to be 673.92 uh, meter long and at an observed temperature of 68 degrees Celsius and a pull of 15 kilos. Okay? So, actually, determine the total correction. So, walang problema. Yung total correction is actually ito lang. Same pa din yung formula natin. Ito pa din yung gagamitin natin na formula. But this time, yung L, I think pwede lang natin gamitin agad yung 673.92. Okay? Para malaman natin yung total correction. Anyway, so, total correction. Ah, sorry. That is actually equal to 0 0.0000, ano yan? Uh, 116, multiplied by, again, uh, 68, minus, ano yung isa? Ano yung standard temperature natin kanina? Okay, 50.76, that is 50.76, okay, multiplied by the length, which is 673.92, okay? And then, we can actually solve for the total correction. You know? So, our total correction is actually just equal to 1348 meters. So, I hope okay tayo dyan sa total correction na 1348. So, uh, I think, no, uh, yung question number 16, standard temperature. Yung question number 17, itong total correction. Now, actually, yung question number 18 ito is actually, what is the uh, original length? Or parang, what is the corrected length pala? Corrected length. Now, Medyo tricky talaga yung mga ganito, yung mga tape corrections kasi yun nga, pag measured, di ba, ang tulong i-plus natin tapos pag too short, subtract tapos pag laying out naman, ang tulong is we need to subtract and then ang too short, we need to uh, we need to add. Okay na, anyway, this is a measured distance man. Okay, yung 673.92 meaning ang corrected length niya is actually uh, we need to add since our uh, tape is actually uh, too long. Okay, so i-add lang... I-add nyo lang tong correction na to dito, then you can actually get the uh, corrected length. Okay, so, yan lang ata para sa, yan lang ata para sa quiz number uh, 3. Okay, so anyway, medyo madali lang actually yung quiz number 3. Yun nga, uh, base sa 
Ito base sa graph na to, medyo madali lang. Now, don't worry, ang quiz number 4, I think medyo mahirap-hirap yung quiz number 4. So, expect no, na maganda yung mga problems sa quiz number 4, na mga mahirap na problem. Okay, anyway, uh, yan lang muna. Maraming salamat sa panonood. And, uh, yun nga, if ever gusto nyo yung content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, sa mga gusto pang makita yung mga quiz 4, quiz 5, okay? So, uh, don't forget to click yung uh, bell button para ma-notify kayo if ever mag-upload ako ng bago. Okay, so, maraming salamat. See you sa next uh, videos. Holy Grail!